think this is going to be one of those uh, all or nothing vlogs. <laughs> so I'm, uh, I'm back down. If you've seen vlogs of mine before, and I know some of you have, um, not been here for a while. Well, I have been here quite a lot, but um, not uh, not vlogging. Um, I'm down on the beach um, at, uh, at the De Estuary, um, and Hillbury Island is over my kind of right shoulder. And uh, I'm I'm fortunate enough to call this place home. So uh, I live just uh, kind of up the hill there. So when I say I've not been vlogging here, but I, I'm, I was here. <laughs> Um, first thing this morning with the dog, walking the dog, and I kind of came along, in fact, walked along here, uh, and the tide had been in and out. And I thought, if the, if the sun stays out, um, I'll come back this evening and try and grab some shots of the sunset, uh, but particularly interested in these pools. So hopefully you can see this lovely um, kind of light shining on these pools. It's about mm, 20 minutes, 25 minutes until the sun hits the horizon. And what I'm going to try and do is hopefully as the sun hits the horizon, get some light on these clouds uh, and get the reflections in the water. So I've set up quite low down um, because I want the reflection looking across the water to, to Hillbury Island. And hopefully you can see these pools kind of lead across, although there's, there's a scattering, the pools lead across to the island. So just waiting. Um, uh, and I'm not going to try, oh, there's a rainbow in the distance. I'm not going to try and get um, kind of the sun uh, in these images. Um, I'm going to try and get the light after the sun has gone down. But um, it's been a bit of a mixed up. I've actually been over to uh, Yorkshire to pick up my son from university to bring him home. So I was here first thing, been over to Yorkshire, brought my son, son, home, son home with all his gear. And uh, I've come down uh, this evening to... It's gone nine o'clock. Can't see anybody else. I can hear some people in the distance. Can't see anybody. Pretty special. Not long now, and look at that. <laughs> beautiful, 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 beautiful colours. Um, and I'm anticipating oh, losing my corneas <laughs> from looking at the sun too much. But I'm anticipating as the sun hits the horizon we'll get some colour up in those clouds. Those clouds haven't really moved very much. So there's not, there's a, there's a little breeze, but nothing worth uh, kind of thinking that those clouds are going to move in the next kind of f five minutes while the sun goes down. But I just wanted to say a, a, a word about the compositions, because I'm going to try two things. Um, as you can see at the moment, the, the um, uh, camera's quite low down. And what I'm doing is, I've probably, I'll, I'll see if I can show you on the back of the camera, but uh, I'm right low down here looking across these pools. And um, let's see if you can see this. This is all about the sky. So it doesn't really matter that you, you maybe can't see any of the detail, um, but I, I've got um, the horizon just about on the rule of thirds, maybe a little bit below the rule of thirds. Might just move that a tiny little bit now. So I've got some reflections, a third of these uh, kind of pools, uh, a third of, uh, is those pools, but the rest is about these clouds, um, you know, dominating two thirds of the image. Um, uh, and that'll work if I get kind of color coming up onto those clouds um, because we're in a big wide open space and the sky is everything. <laughs> So I want the sky in the low down image, I want the sky to, to kind of dominate the kind of final frame. So I'm down low and I'm shooting up. Then if I get time, it depends what happens with the kind of the sun and the clouds and whatnot. If I get time, I'm going to extend my tripod, come up to about this height, so kind of head height, and then look across the pools. And I'll probably then have the, the, the pools and the island in about the two thirds. So then the sky will be a third. So it's, it's kind of the exact opposite. And what I'm hoping that means is if I'm getting the color in the sky, I'll get the color reflected uh, in these pools. So I think it'd be quite nice to have that image from up high with the color reflected uh, in the pools. But we'll see because it all depends on something happening with those clouds. And I think Fingers crossed it might happen and I've got to stop looking at the sun. I'd really like to know 
why so often when I'm photographing sunsets at the, um, at the coast, that as the sun hits the horizon, a bank of cloud appears. That seems to happen kind of nine times out of 10. So therefore there's no color in the, in the clouds. Uh, so there's a little bit uh, over there. And I think if these clouds, these are quite low clouds uh, and I can see there's, there's some kind of lighter clouds higher up. They've got some nice color in because obviously the, the sunlight is shining up onto the high cloud, but it's not touching this low cloud. So it's a little bit over there, but, uh, but not very much. But I, I, I took a couple of uh, kind of the, the low level images. <laughs> uh, what I'm going to do now is, is raise my tripod and um, uh, take some of the, the higher ones, but it, it's, it's not the same um, uh, without the color in the clouds. There's a nice kind of shade of, of, of um, purpley blue, kind of little shade of that, but um, not a lot, <laughs> but I'm going to raise the tripod, do a couple of them, and then uh, then I'm probably done. But once I'm done, I can be home in 10 minutes and have a beer. <laughs> so I've raised my tripod up, got my hands a bit uh, sandy, but you expect that on the beach. Um, and here we go. So i have brighten it up so you can see, but as I mentioned earlier, I've got the, the sand is covering two thirds of the image, um, but I'm taking my reading from this bright bit, brightest bit in the sky, it's probably a little bit too dark that, but about there, I'm on F11. And the reason I'm taking my reading from the brightest bit in the sky is I'm not really interested in the sand. I'm interested in the, in the reflection. So I don't want detail in the sand. I, I want, um, I think I said earlier, it's, it's a little bit like quicksilver. It looks a bit like uh, kind of droplets of mercury. And I just want that kind of reflection um, uh, kind of coming through. So uh, I'm quite happy for the sand to be dark uh, and uh, kind of not really lend any detail. Just want the kind of reflection of the, uh, of, of the sky. It's a little bit color, um, but not very much. <laughs> so I might just uh, kind of move my tripod that way a little bit because I, I, I think I'll get a better angle with this, this pond um, uh, and then take a couple more. But when I post them, at the very end of the film, actually, maybe I'll post uh, one from the low angle and one from the higher angle so you can do a compare and contrast. And hopefully what I was talking about earlier kind of is, is demonstrated. Well, all done. Um, last little bit of colour in the sky. It's actually <laughs> the, uh, the high cloud is, is nice and pink, but it's, it's covered by this, uh, this low cloud. So just, just one of those things. But hopefully kind of it's a quick trip out probably quite a short vlog I imagine by the time I've edited out all my moronic ramblings uh, but um, hopefully the kind of the two different height um, options worked out well um, and, and gave kind of a, a different view a different different composition but uh, yeah we'll see there's a lot of lovely um, uh, kind of orangey pink hue across there beautiful a couple of birds flying around tide will be in a little bit later cover all this over and then start again so hope you enjoyed that trip bit of an announcement um, uh, I'll post the link below to my uh, to my website but um, uh, I'm now formally offering one-to-one um, -one workshops uh, so if you follow the link below and, and you're interested um, just uh, kind of read the details there and uh, get in touch but uh, I know a couple of people have been asking in the past uh, and I've already got a couple of bookings um, so have a look, see what you think, and uh, maybe I'll see you face to face. Cheers, bye.